Frost, and I'm back with uh, another collection update. Um, only four pieces this time. Uh, two LPs, two CDs, and uh, they're all 2018 releases. And they all fucking bang. So uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, playing in the background, this is uh, one of, an album came out last year. This is Impalers with Cellar Dweller. Uh, this is some of the premier uh, American D-Beat crust. This is a fucking amazing album. Uh, this has some significance, which we will get to uh, later in the video. Uh, let's hop into this with the CDs. Uh, both these bands come from France. Both of them are on the same label, which is Les Acteurs de l'Ombre Productions. I guarantee that's not how it's pronounced, but um, I don't know. I am not French. I do not speak French well, and uh, I do not pronounce French well. Um, this band I initially thought was uh, pronounced Arlock. They are not. It is pronounced Ariuk. It is spelled A O R L H A C. And they have one of my favorite logos I've seen in a long time. As that comes through. Um, this is a French black metal band. And um, considering they're French, uh, they are very atmospheric and uh, almost Cascadian. Uh, a little bit of that Wolves in the Throne Room vibe. A lot of uh, Agaloc uh, vibes in this. Uh, really love the artwork. Let's see there. Band photo here. And front cover. And I dropped the CD. Back cover. Really, really good. Uh, I, I have not been able to stop listening to this since I got it. Uh, just absolutely beautiful black metal. Um, lyrics and song titles are all in French. And uh, I know France has a fantastic black metal scene. I think this band, uh, this is their third release. Uh, it is titled... Le Spirit Des Vents. And uh, it's it's really good. Uh, this is the first release I heard by them. I really need to check out their past releases. Um, really fucking good. Uh, like I said, I haven't been able to get enough of it. I really love the artwork in this thing. This digipack is very well put together. Just have a booklet here that I can't seem to get out. Better look at the band's logo here. Uh, got all your lyrics here. Giddy good. Well, like I said, I really love this. Uh, probably, this might be the first black metal release I've listened to this year so far. Uh, I know there's been some big ones out I just haven't got around to yet. But, uh, Aoyuk. Uh, Le Spirit Disvents. Check it out. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the box. Uh, next up, like I said, this band's also from France. Uh, also on the same label that I'm not going to try to butcher the name of again. Uh, but this is Monolith with Nebula Septum. Uh, this band's been around for a hot minute now. Uh, this is their seventh release. And there for a while, I think they were putting out like a release every year. And uh, they did uh, Monolith 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I think I hopped in around the third one. Uh, really good Death Doom. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been listening to it for a while. and uh, This one's really good, but uh, it's going to take a couple more listens to keep my attention. Um, I love Death Doom. Uh, I've just heard a lot of it this year. and uh, This one hadn't really hit the spot yet. It, it probably still will. This is a relatively new release. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, album style Nebula Septa, Septum. Nice booklet. It's very small. Mm. Only lyrics. And that is literally it. The artwork on this is also gorgeous. I love the, uh, the artwork on both these CDs. Um can't tell you your favorite song in here because like I said it's all kind of just flowing. Interesting bit about this, like I said this is their seventh release there are seven tracks on this release and every song is exactly seven minutes long 
Uh, I have a feeling that was planned. Could be wrong. Don't think I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, monolith nebula septum. Really cool too. And uh, yeah, that was both the CDs. Let's bust into these LPs. Uh, this first one right here, I have been jamming like fucking crazy. Like a fucking madman. Because that's what I am, I'm a madman. Uh, I'm sorry about my voice too. I've had a sore throat for the last couple days and it's really been a pain in my ass, but I have so so much shit I need to get through and I just, I'm, I'm not gonna bullshit around anymore. All right, this is Centuries with The Lights of This Earth Are Blinding. This is a uh, Floridian black and hardcore band. Uh, this came out in, the uh, count this year, came out on Southern Lord. And this is the band's uh, sophomore release. Their uh, first album was, uh, what the fuck is the name of it? Tadium Vitae, I think Tadium Vitae. Uh, it came out 2013-ish. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, I remember listening to that album and uh, really liking it, but this album fucking just blew me the fuck away. Um, so, just so fucking heavy, so crushing. Um, the artwork on this thing is awesome. But if you're not in the right light, you can't see jack shit. Like, I don't even think right here you can see that the album title is right here. Kind of just looks like a white line from where I'm looking. And the track, track listing is also kind of hard to see unless you're looking at the right light. But, uh, yeah, fucking love this release. Uh, I think this was the first 2017 release, I actually, 2018, so getting used to saying that, release that I bought this year. Uh, just come with this nice, heavy duty uh, lyric sheet. There's something on this side, but you can barely make it out, maybe. Or maybe that was just light coming through. Can't tell. But uh, yeah, this is a fucking barn burner, man. Just punishingly heavy, uh, hardcore. Uh, records just on black. Labels aren't crazy special. But uh, this album is definitely fucking special. And uh, if Citrus haven't crossed your radar, and you're into that uh, pissed off, spiteful, hardcore, this is where you need to be. Um, I'm going fucking blank trying to think of bands to compare it to, but uh, just trust me, if you're into hardcore, you're into that spiteful, hateful, stab you in the face kind of hardcore, this is uh, this is your jam. That's uh, Centuries with the lights of, the earth, of this earth are blinding. Again, I apologize for my voice. I, I, I feel like I sound like shit, and I sound like I feel like shit. Uh, this one right here is maybe my favorite thing I've listened to this year. Uh, I cannot get enough of this. This is Cosmic Crypt by Mammoth Grinder. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you know Mammoth Grinder by this point in life. Uh, it's been, been around for a while. Uh, they're coming up Austin, Texas. Uh, started out as more of a hardcore band, but now I've evolved into kind of that uh, crusty death metal, a la uh, uh shit like that. And uh, they fucking destroy. Uh, I saw them live a week ago, two weeks ago. I saw them live recently, and uh, they absolutely just fucking blew me away. Uh, this is their fourth release. They say it's called Cosmic Crypt. The artwork is awesome. There's the back. Beautiful gatefold. Love this fucking gatefold. Love all that gold. You know, insert just gorgeousness. Um, yeah. Texas three piece. Uh, members of uh, Iron Reagan and Power Trip. And uh, Chris, who is doing vocals and bass on this, is also the vocalist of Impalers, who we're listening to. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, but yeah, 
members of Iron Reagan and Power Trip, just absolutely fucking destructive. Uh, love their new logo. Um, love everything about this. Fucking relapse, just fucking crushed it. Uh, I wish I hadn't waited so long and I could have got one of the variants, but uh, I just went with the standard old plain old black because it plays like a boss. Um, labels aren't crazy interesting, but uh, again, I just fucking love that logo. It's upside down. Uh, yeah, like I said, love every fucking thing about this album. Love everything about this band. And, uh, yeah, like I said, probably one of my one of my favorite, if not my favorite, release so far this year. Uh, albeit it's only February. And I just started buying 2017 releases, but I've been listening to a ton of them. And, uh, yeah, this one definitely just fucking destroys. And I can't get it back in the sleeve. It's been a long day, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, Mammoth Grinder, Cosmic Crypt. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some money down that this is going to be in my year-end list. Uh, without a fuck. Without a doubt. Without a fucking doubt. I'm tired. Uh, yeah. And that's, that's really all I had for this video, is uh, those four releases. Um... Over the next couple of days, hopefully I'll be doing some more because I have a stack of seven inches back here. I have a stack of LPs over here to go through and talk about. Uh, because I like talking to you folks. You're nice folks. I also have to do my entry for uh, Eric Bauer's uh, contest. Uh, if you're not following Eric, you're fucking up severely. Uh, I'll leave a link to his profile in the... Uh, description box also as long as well as links to listen to all of this shit that I can find um yeah I guess that's it uh as always thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting me and through all my babbling bullshit all my ums and wells and all that <coughs> sorry about my voice again uh stay true and rock the fuck on um, I've been Ross, this is on the record. Peace.